Muy buenas noches, espero que estén todos muy pero que muy bien. Bienvenidos un día más a mi canal, bienvenidos a Red Dead Redemption 2. Vamos allá en el día de hoy, la noche de hoy mejor dicho, a ver qué vamos a hacer. El caballo lo tengo aquí. Y vamos a ir aquí. Perfecto. Entonces, caballo ahí. Y vamos a ir para allá. Vale. Vamos a coger un poco la vía rápida. Digámosle así. Porque vamos a ir así en línea recta. Arre caballito. Vale. Vale, no me quiero meter en esa en ese lío. Un segundito, vale, por aquí también puedo subir. Vamos, caballito, tú puedes. La deuda del señor Downs.
Vale, allá vamos. Ah, vale, eh, con todo esto, ¿hacia dónde vamos? Ah, vale. Aquí mismo. Vale, nuestro querido hombre está por ahí. Aquí está nuestro hombre interesante. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Vale. Eh, ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Aquí ya no tenemos mucho más que hacer. Vamos a Strawberry. A por Michael. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm-hmm. All right, boy. Vale, por aquí nos indica que es el camino, pues por aquí tiramos. Vale, vale, vale. Saquear. Está intentando el pobre hombre conseguir oro. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, you! Wait! No way! Voy a coger más en línea recta. A ver si se llega mejor por aquí. Bueno, en la dirección estamos yendo a la dirección correcta. ¿eh? Al menos eso sé. Complete stranger saved me from certain demise. Well, fine thing to do, helping a feller out like that. I hoped I'd run into you again. I'd really like to pay you back in some way, you know? Hey, I, I got plenty of credit at this store here. You know, you pick out anything you want, free of charge. All right. Sounds good. Oh, that's real nice. What do you need, partner? Better outside. Got deed by his own trap. He said he'd cover me if I put something on his tab. The only reason he still got that leg. Oh, that idiot. A few folks around here would rather you left him there. But hey, if that's what he wants, take a look around. Cuántas cosas hay, eh. Veintisiete, algo que es realmente caro, ¿no? Ya que nos invita, eh, índice, índice, producto, caza y pesca. Armas, a ver cuál es el arma más caro por ahí. Fusiles, escopetas. 
225. Vale, y si no es escopetas, a ver qué otra cosa es. Fusiles. Vale, eh, pues ropa. Ropa y atuendos. En 83, en 105. Mira, para no pasarnos, vamos a pillar esto. Eh, comprar. Good choice. I'll let him know. Vale. Eh, comerciante y vender. A ver, ¿qué le podemos vender a este hombre? Gomina. Un puro. Vale. Pick something up. Thanks again. Glad to hear it. Least I could do. Vale, perfecto. Y ahora que ya tengo este aspecto, vamos a ver. Maika En prisión Uy, esto no pinta bien Yeah. Hello, sir I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang Como Driscoll Heard you had some sort of incident We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Puerta Invisible. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. <laughs> oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Que si vamos a hacer algo, claro. This wall just needs some good forcing. Just pull that lever. Come on. Madre mía, lo que estamos haciendo por este pavo. Get out of 
out of here. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll.
gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of... All that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was... That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. Oh, I think we finally lost him. I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. Why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back at Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah! Good one, boy. Vale. Esto está en paso. Así que me voy a adentrar, creo yo. A ver qué sale de esto. Vale, dale, dale, marcha atrás.
Vale. Blackwater nada, ¿no? A ver, vamos a ver un segundo cómo nos hemos quedado de dinero, un poco menos, vale. Javier Escuela. Lo intentamos otra vez. everywhere you see Sean no I don't think so damn it where's Trelawney who knows <clears throat> where is that little Irish pest I'm not quite sure Trelawney's off trying to find out anyone been in the black water see how things lie place is crawling with Pinkertons bounty hunters and, uh, pictures of Dutch and Hosea uh, well, he got a lot of money sitting in that town and that's where it's gonna remain for now Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we'll cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So A ver, un segundo progreso y vamos por el 11% 14, vale. I guess we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side and then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you that way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Mira qué buen tiempo y cómo se ve todo, Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes. South of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick 
up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Sure. All right. Let's take a... Closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen? So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking them up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. We can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Stay here. doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Very okay, very come on. Sir. Stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> I don't come on, let's get up there. Hat. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. You got there, eh? Those are very nice. Come on! We need to get back!
Vale, vamos a ver cómo se hace lo de el ojo. A ver. Eh, controles. Tecla de ratón. Designar teclas. Común, a tía, a caballo. Combate, supongo. Aquí ya se da, mira. Negativa, agarre. Vale. Vale, 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 ya. Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <coughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <coughs> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. 
Ok. Vemos si se puede saquear algo por aquí. Saqueamos. A ver, dentro de los edificios puede que hayan cosas, ¿no? Digo yo. Sí, pero el problema es que no se abren los edificios. Arriba no me voy a subir. Y aquí... Aquí dentro no hay nada. Vale, un segundito porque creo que vienen alguien desde allá o no. Blackwater, mal. Persona desconocida. Vale. Strawberry. Vale. Y la misión más cercana que tengo. Es aquí. Vamos, este caballito sí aguanta un poquito más. Venga, ¿se pira el tren o qué? Otra vez he pulsado tecla que no es.
Vale Para allá que vamos A ver, a ver. Cocinar es bien. Vale. Cocinamos comida. Eh, dormir o marcharse eh, mediodía 17 horas vamos a dormir ¿por qué no? venga Desmontamos el campamento. Ese puente es increíble. Vale, quitamos el destino. Oh, Arthur. Are you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Even you, Arthur. Great. Even you. Here we go. We're back home now, Arthur. So everything's going to be okay. 
Pistolero. That spent every waking minute just dreaming of leaving, and and then they left. And then Very they nice, left. but how about something a little more civilized? And, and ah, it's good to be back. I even missed you, <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to celebrate. Vamos a ponernos a comer algo. Sean will make your life hell when he finds out you're an O'Driscoll. Oh, great. Just be grateful you're alive. Oh. <laughs> vale, ¿qué más podemos hacer? Dance. 
Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. Is that what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. I mean it. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. The wide, wide world I wander over with the light, light. Not you again. Uh, hello. How are you doing? Oh, th the things is all right. Well, he's back. As loud a mouth as ever. I sing a merry song, the wide, wide world I wander over, and the light, light heart I roam along, oh, with the light, light heart I roam along. been stuck before. <laughs> you, do you remember that mine? <laughs> okay. A ver, ¿qué, ¿qué dice esa carta? Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, 
Mary Linton. Oh my god. Qué dura la carta. Pues nada. Pues nada, monada, vamos a ver aquí qué. Caza. Venga, nos vamos de caza con Charles. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Butcher, take the horns too. It can all be used. Easy, boy. Gotta be done. Pedazo piel, eh? Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna. Go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way.
Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here. Not like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. Boy! All right, boy. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Yeah, good boy. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! Look, I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please. Don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right. Now get out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm at the back. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Vale, y como último punto, vamos a la H. Yep.
put in this, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting. I don't do so well. Please. Right there. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. He's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> Let's go. Really? Really. Show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. See the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. You know what? <laughs> Here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. Just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something for me? Great. Spinal alignment. What? Spinal alignment. The Lord God Almighty. Or who, whoever built it. But our brain's in here, but our soul is in our backs. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky. Sure.
Did you like dancing? No, I've never been a dancing man, no. That, that explains everything! <sighs> Is that better? Just a bit. Yeah! Yeah! It's a, it's a little bit better. Uh, uh. This session has been free, but perhaps I might call it again. How much will it cost me? I'm offering you virility, and you're asking me about money. So. I ain't made of money, mister. Easy, whoa! Yep. Okay, let's grab this stage coach and get out of here. Hey, wait for me to get on. Idiot. Should have been more careful. What are you doing? Get back on the road. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. Yeah. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred. Not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand-pound grizzly, anyway. <laughs> No doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. What are we doing off the road? It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for it. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Thank you. 
And where's the meat to go along with the pelt, Arthur? Uh, I feel like death. Before you come any closer, the answer is no. What did I want? We're gonna run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Good morning. Never drinking again until later. Arthur Morgan, king among men. King among fools, more like. Javier? I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. Is 
There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Place, right? Damn it. All right, let's just get down there and take a closer look. Just take it slow. We need to know what we're dealing with. All these trees. I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Stay low, Arthur. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone for ten minutes, I was. You can only gag all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? Yo, oh, Edie, get all the jam! You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see.
don't see any more of them. All right, quick, let's look for the stash. No place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur, give me a hand here. It was worth the trouble, didn't I? Here, yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Si empieza a notar que Arthur no se encuentra del todo, del todo bien, ¿eh? Hey, partner. Howdy. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? Um. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. 
Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. A ver, en progreso en cuanto estamos. 16, vale. Cada hora suma un 1%. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Vale, vamos a ver si podemos comprar ya el otro. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. This horse is one of the finest you can get. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. I got one of them myself. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. Always good to have one of those. Yeah, grooming a horse sure makes it a beaut.
Working with animals is better than working with people, sometimes. Folks come from all over for our services. Nice bit of grooming. People take notice. Enjoy. Wish more folks took care of their horses like you. Gotta give a treat now, man. Bring that horse back if you need anything. Bailing. Hello there. That horse doing all right? I'm happy to stable that for you. A few careful trims and this horse will look just fine. Yup, looking mighty fine. That's all you got for us? Check. Nope. Oh my. You can play with this. Bluff ain't fooling me. Let's do a little better than that. 
That's not helping much. <laughs> well now. Don't worry, I'm coming back for this. I better go all in. Nah. Well, look at you. Nah. Woo! Yeah. Come to me. Here we go. Vale, dos y cuatro hay que hacer farol porque no queda otra. Real exciting. Real exciting. Not what I expected. Just this for now. Hmm, watch out for money bags over here. Yep. <laughs> Them feet of yours cold, huh? Folding. All right. Check. You surely. Well, that is quite something. That's well, better than a poke in the eye. burn this lot for fuel. Doggone. Yes. I can't afford this, damn it. Uh, come on. You gutted me. Shit. That was a fun game. See you next time. Not as much as you'd like. Got my eye on you this game. time. Hey. That is ain't a pleasure. Sorry, there must be some mistake. Hey. Look here. If you want to catch another center bounty hunter, take a gander at the poster there. Okay. Well, it looks like trouble, all right. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping well. Just let me be. I need the pay. <laughs> Thanks. Have a great day.
Damn. Dang, you've been gone a while. Hey, howdy, sir. Move next time. Listen, that your fella? The old one? Yeah, he's mine. Well, you better watch out for him. He's looking for a knife in his belly from some of the boys here. So... I think I had enough. I saw the auction boss sloping out of the hotel first thing in the morning. While you're enjoying yourself, go play around over Not there. Not sure even a new tailor could help you. Thanks. Vamos a probar ir hasta ahí o hasta aquí.
You doing good, girl. Yeah. 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 Whoa. Oh. That's it. Yeah. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my God and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Um, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. Um. <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary! Let... Make up your mind! 
Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Christ's sakes, Jamie! Just hold up a minute! Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well... This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take you anymore. Forgive me, but 
Your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... you're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Bueno, pues señores y señoras, con un progreso de 17% lo vamos a ir dejando por aquí. Nos queda un montón de cosas todavía por descubrir. Bandas, plantas, caballos. A ver, caballos juntos. Mor Armas, estampa de cigarrillos. Ostras, ¿cuántos hay? Desafíos. Desafíos, progreso total 20%. Misiones 21 de no sé cuántas. Personas desconocidas 1 de 10. Caza recompensas. Encuentra for encuentro fortuitos. Emboscadas.
Pasan tus aguarinas. Esas, esas son interesantes. Puntos de interés. Y mil cosas más coleccionables, ¿vale? Pues con esto y un bizcocho. Nos vemos en un próximo vídeo el día 8.